Hey YouTube, um, this is Trombone Teacher 101. That's what you, that's what most of you know me as, um, but my real name is actually AJ Fox. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna be playing any music today. Um, I recently just started watching, um, End of the World Conspiracies, um, UFOs, H A or H A A R P and uh, noises under the water things um um science fiction stuff like that um I started watching that probably back in the beginning of November and watched it up to this point so um I thought I'd do my own and give you the information I know now and pack it all into one thing okay so. Probably the first video I watched was I just typed in in the world Nib Nibiru. Okay, that's the top story or Planet X. Um, I think they're pretty much the same. Um, um, okay, I was just watching a video and it showed the impact into Earth and the world would end. Um, and then I watched a retired NASA guy and Chris. Um, for somewhat reason, um, he just had a camera outside, and, um, you could see three suns or planets, um, they were literally shining, though, um, you could see them up coming through the clouds, but then again, you, um, you can, uh, fake that easily with the computer technology they have today, and then, uh, I also saw two, th two videos in the Antarctica where, um, they saw planets, Nibiru or Planet X. Do I believe it's the end of the world? No. But I do believe it's a lot of changes. People are saying it's the end of the world. Well, no. If you really think about it, okay, it's not like the world's just going to stay the same for everlasting life. There's always going to be changes. Back in 2011, we recently had a lot more storms, tornadoes. It never really occurred to people that the earth may just be reforming. And, you know, with the earthquakes and people are like, oh, it's a new planet or whatever. Well, yes, it may very well be. It may also very well be the new world. Um, nobody knows that for sure, but you can't just go straight to that. You gotta think of other explanations. So, um, basically, I'm going to explain it, okay? Um, you don't have to believe me, okay? Because I know a lot of people aren't, but I know a lot of people will. Um, I ask that you watch the whole video, um, because I'm going to give you a lot of information. Okay. We also need to think the obvious. Okay, the obvious is, um, portal-like. People say UFOs travel through portals. That's basically scientific truth, I guess. You know, that's the obvious. But what's really obvious is, maybe the portals are black holes or wormholes. Okay, not like these little things that just pop up. And, you know, that's the obvious. It's not really hard to think that. But then there may be portals. I guess you just gotta say, I just guess you just gotta believe both sides. I mean, they're both possible. But once again, you have to have explanations. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Mm. Back to the story I told you about the guy that was talking with, um, with the planets or suns. Um, if there was planets, and I I've always been really interested in space. Um, it's very well possible that um, excuse me. It's very well possible that um, if this thing is traveling super fast or whatever, it's going to be like a black hole and suck in 
things with it, like a trail, like a comet, but it's going to be supersized. And to say it was just not specifically going to go into Earth's orbit and the hit Earth, but it went around it. And if so, if so, it did. And say it had asteroids or whatever, it got sucked into its trail that would all hit Earth, be going around it, going to Earth's surface or whatever. And that could just possibly happen if it, something like this really did happen. Um, um, and so yeah, um, H A A R P. Um, if you notice, have the sound sound like trumpet or metal being hit and vibrating or whatever. And usually there's flashes of light after it. Okay. I wouldn't say it's some kind of government thing. I would just say it's UFOs. I mean, you know. Um, I just want to talk about Area 51. If you Google Earth Area 51, um, you can see a couple of the buildings and stuff. So yeah. Um, but one other place is if you go to Antarctica, I forget the exact locations and longitude and latitude. <sighs> Sorry. But you can actually see some rock or artifact sort of thing. And I personally think it's something explaining something. Um, so, yeah. Um, one person asked me, do I think California is really going to come off the U.S.? Yeah. Um, they have a lot of earthquakes each year, day. I mean, it's a common fact. It may not happen because of some extraordinary thing, but eventually it'll have so many earthquakes that just the ground is going to connect and break up. The whole state might not come up, come off though. Just depends. I mean, they have two fault lines there, so yeah. Um. Dimensions. Um, that's the last or second to last thing I want to talk about. Um. Dimensions. A lot of people say they've been abducted or something like that. Um, but then a lot of people say they're from another dimension. Um, I kind of am on the iffy point on that. Um, ever since I was little, um, I knew about space. Like, stuff normal first graders wouldn't know, like the lining of the planet. Um, when's eclipses, what's the eclipse, uh, a lot of that stuff, um, um, anyway, um, never mind, um, I, I think I might be from a different dimension, and I might not, because, like I said, I've always been interested in space, so if I, you know, but I've also been able to predict the future. I've warned people about things, and it happened, which was kind of weird. Um, you know, maybe the people, like, that were from another dimension are, but they were set and lost all their memory from a different place. Or whatever the dimension and lived as humans to warn them which kind of seems stupid but then again it may be true the last thing the Mayan calendar everyone says it's the Mayan calendar that's true it's gonna be the end of the world no first of all you need to look up your information before you even think about that my calendar doesn't really actually say that it's the end of the world. It's the end, it's like the end of an era. They have years and month or months, years and decades and centuries like us, but they were longer. Maybe they only had like centuries. And it just ended. It just happened to end at that time. Now I know there's pictures of stickmen pointing at circular objects. Now that's just something that's 
paranormal and freaky, like, um, um, the Stonehenge and all that. Um, that's pretty much true and stuff. I am Mayan Indian, full blooded, and, um, I know if you're mine and you think it's the end of the world, then you probably hate me, but I don't care. I don't think it's the end of the world. I think things are happening, and I think things are changing. I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you like the video. Um, I usually do music on my trombone. I probably have a couple future videos later, but, um, yeah. Um, if you watched through the whole video, thank you. Um, for seeing my opinion, you may think something different, comment in it, or like or subscribe, and if you have any questions, please ask, um, I'll try to find the answer for you, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, and, um, one last time, I'm my full-blooded Mayan Indian, I think things are changing, it's not the end of the world, and if it is, then it is. Okay, it's going to be what it's going to be. So, I am AJ Fox. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.